I, for one, am not the biggest fan of slice of life type stories. Well, that is not entirely true. There are actually several slice of life anime and manga that I really like. I'm just real picky with the genre, to be honest. Insomniacs After School, though, the series that's currently airing is something that I really like, not gonna lie. But a vast majority I notice kind of flow a similar way and don't really that much deviate from their formulas. Granted, there are exceptions to the rule and honestly to an extent, Asper Girl aka That's My Atypical Girl is one of these. Now, Asper Girl basically follows two characters. Yoki, someone who works as a manga author and a newspaper delivery driver, now as an artist and a mangaka, Yogi is not exactly the best. In fact, his original works don't really sell that well. One of his works only got two buyers, so he makes his money by drawing Dojin, funny enough. Hey, sex sells. And this is where our title character comes in, Saitao, a girl who is rather special, one day shows up to his front door and tells him she is actually a big fan of his original works. Turns out she's one of the two buyers who bought one of his manga. And a funny story how she found out where he lives since Yoki hasn't really posted where he lived online, intentionally at least. In fact, Saito kind of pulled a 4chan level autism move and saw a photo he posted on social media and triangulated where that photo was taken and managed to find where he lived. He's uh, he's quite the gal. And that is where our story begins, with several scenes and moments of hilarity and quirkiness to follow. There were pretty notable moments of actually really good comedic bits like Saitao kicking a dog because she doesn't like dogs all that much. Saitao's like teddy bear that she has to beat it up because it actually reminds her of someone she did not like growing up and she will actually beat so that stuffing will actually come out and you actually look at it. It's been like that for a good while. There's also another uh, good point that actually comes up later in that there's a neighbor that moves in in the uh, apartment that is right next to theirs, but funny enough, she's kind of similar to Saito in a way, only her coping mechanism is her actually having rigorous amounts of sex with her exes, and that actually keeps both Yokai and Saito like up throughout the night. Another great scene that I actually think is pretty neat and adds to a little bit of relatability aspect is that Yokai is extremely broke. His apartment doesn't even have a shower in it, so he actually goes to a bathhouse instead. Granted, Saito does actually buy Yokai a um, portable shower, and, and this actually shows the generous aspects to her and that she's really caring and nice. And one of the biggest one, and probably one of my favorite moments comedy-wise throughout this, is the fetish talking scene, and where Saito sees um, Yokai actually uh, drawing some doujin. The topic of what their fetishes are actually comes up. Saito actually has a bit of a non-con uh, fetish and even though she does say she doesn't want the action to happen to her, he does get aroused by it and she does ask him what his fetish is and he's very reluctant to say so and she keeps pressing him and he just caves in and says, well my fetish is I want women to fart in a bag so that I can smell it. Not often I actually see an MC with a fart fetish but hey, there's something new for everybody I guess. But despite appearing as a series with quirky elements and a manic pixie dream girl, Asper Girl actually hits pretty hard in many cases, as shown pretty early, that there's more to Saito than just her being a quirky fangirl who ends up living with her favorite manga artist. That early in her life, she had to deal with feelings of loneliness, anxiety, and partly due to her being on the spectrum, and yes, as the title suggests, she does have Asperger syndrome, and due to a combination of many things like her parents not exactly knowing how to raise her regarding her her mental disability, her school life being difficult, and her not exactly knowing how to cope with it other than harming herself. Asper Girl's contrast between its comedy aspects and its hard-hitting plot points is something that is rather its greatest strength since many of us can relate to being alone or even being stricken with a level of anxiety. Some of us move past these feelings as we get older and we meet new people. While others, these feelings never really go away. And seeing Yokai notice this and see the hardship that Psycho has actually gone through in her life, opening up to her and telling her that he sees her is a pretty touching moment. And seeing the two grow to love each other more and more as the pages turn makes this series one that I honestly would love to see get an adaptation. Now, currently at the moment, there are a hundred or so chapters out. The series is actually done and finished, 
but only 72 chapters so far have been translated give or take but it's pretty close and honestly like many things once you catch up it's gonna be a bitch and a half winning for the next chapter so in closing asper girl aka that's my atypical girl is quite the series and honestly if anything i said earlier piques your interest go ahead and give this a read when you can as always take care have a good one stay chill wanderers